Welcome back. In the last video, we talked about the structure of cellulose. We described the structure of cellulose and discussed how cellulose was a major component of biomass. In this video, we're going to cover the next top point, which says identify that cellulose contains the basic carbon chain structures needed to build petrochemicals and discuss its potential as a raw material. There's two parts. So identify that cellulose contains the basic carbon structure and discuss its potential as a raw material. Also word uh, petrochemicals comes up and a petrochemical which is any so petrochemical is any chemical which is derived or produced from petroleum petroleum and that was the fossil fuel um, version of it. So Identify the cellulose contains the basic carbon chain needed to uh, structure needed to build petrochemicals and discuss its potential as raw materials. So the first we're going to talk about the first one, which says identify that cellulose contains the basic carbon chain structure. If you remember cellulose, if you remember cellulose was a, a biopolymer. It was a biopolymer, which meant that it was a polymer, so it had more than one unit. And it was natural, so it's biological, it was natural. Now they are made up of monomers, which are glucose monomers. So these are each individual part is a glucose monomer. Now what happens if we add water? So by adding water, so if we have cellulose and we add some water, what will happen is we will break those bonds in between. These bonds will be broken by adding water. And we have the individual glucose molecules. The first step is to break down cellulose into glucose. And glucose has that basic carbon structure so that is needed to build petrochemicals because it has these carbons, six carbons in its chain. It has hydrogens and oxygens. But I'll show you how we go from glucose to ethanol and ethylene which are the two major components that make up petrochemicals. So if we have glucose, what we can do, and we're going to discuss this in much greater detail in the next chapter, which is all about ethanol and ethylene. Um, but here we actually, what we can do is we can use them called fermentation, which we'll describe in a later video. But that's using yeast, so yeast helps us make ethanol, but through the help of yeast, we can produce ethanol. What ethanol is? It's just ethylene with um, these hydroxide groups. These are the alcohol groups. So alcohol groups. And the O refers to the alcohol. And ethanol, so again, that all comes from ethanol, that all comes from the alcohol group. And that comes um, when you have an, an hydroxide group attached, which is right here. And the good thing about ethanol, if we can produce ethanol, we can make things like fuel for cars. So sometimes we can get, if we go to the petrol station, we can get um, petrol with ethanol in it, because ethanol itself is a fuel. And also it allows us to make solvents. So instead of using petrol in a car, we can also use ethanol. And what we can still do if we have ethanol, we can, we can dehydrate ethanol. So dehydration refers to the removal of water, so the removing of water, or removal of water. If we have here our ethanol, what we can do is we can literally cut this part out, these here, remove them, and then what we have left over is ethylene. And if you remember from the very first chapter what ethylene was all about, this was the structure of ethylene. We have these double carbon bonds, double bonds between carbons, and that, that allows us to do make plastics, um, such as polyethylene, and also polyvinyl chloride and polystyrene. We can all do that with that basic ethylene structure. But we also can make some other chemicals, some other um, solvents and, and, and septic semiols. But ethylene is that basic structure that allows us to, to build the other ones. So this says identify the cellulose contains the basic carbon structures needed to build petrochemicals. So we can definitely make the normal petrochemicals that we can make with petroleum. So Either we need petroleum for so fossil fuels or these other sources, which are the biomass sources. 
And we can definitely make all those chemicals or most of those chemicals that we could with fossil fuels, we can also make them with biomass. And the reason why is because we can go from cellulose into its monomers, into glucose, which is this one. And these have you know, the carbons, the hydrogens, the oxygens, which we need to make ethanol. So we then ferment, so we go from fermentation using yeast, we can make ethanol. Ethanol is a very good fuel and a very good solvent. But then we can dehydrate, so we can remove even more water. That was that part. And if we remove even more water, we go from ethanol into ethylene. And ethylene was where we can make all those other petrochemicals, such so as plastics, polyvinyl chloride, and polystyrene, and some of the other ones. So using biomass, so biomass, we can do make the same petrochemicals as we could using petroleum. Now it says also discuss its potential as raw material. So when it says discuss, we kind of have to give your advantages and your disadvantages. So your pros and your cons of why we would use this um, cellulose as opposed to petroleum. So the advantages is that it's uh, renewable. So if you remember fossil fuels, that was the stuff that we get from digging um, old fossils, that's why the name fossils, and these are not limited, so are, we can use our word finite because they will run out, so they will run out in the near future, they're not, they're not unlimited. And the good thing with, when it comes to biomass, we can just grow that more and more, so we can always grow more biomass, but fossil fuels, these will run out. So one of the advantages when using cellulose is that it's renewable, right? so that's good, it's renewable. Whereas fossil fuels, so if you petroleum, so fossil fuels, we have your petroleum as part of your fossil fuels, and they are they are not renewable, they're non-renewable, they will run out eventually at some stage. Another good point about um, using biomass is, is that it's less it produces less pollution and it's better for the environment. So you might have heard it quite a bit of in, this, in the news about how global warming and other part, things that, that impact the environment. And it has lots to do with these fossil fuels. These fossil fuels, the burning of fossil fuels, is very bad for the environment. So by using biomass, it would, be, it would be less bad, so less pollution. So these are the two advantages. But then some of the reasons why we're not using it that much at the moment is that if you imagine if we have to grow more and more cellulose, that's like growing a plant, we do that to get cellulose. That takes up farming land. So by taking up farming land, we're gonna lose we're gonna lose um land that we could use for food. So lose land for food. And we have a big shortage, we have a crisis, we don't have enough land as it is. So if we use more even more land to produce these petrochemicals, that would mean that we lose even more land for food as well and that means we would have more starving people so this is one of the reasons one of the disadvantages is that we can't really give up more farming land to the production of petrochemicals because we need to have that farming land for the production of food and the other disadvantage is that at the moment at the moment at least it costs more so um this is at the moment right so we have most of our fossil fuels come from, uh, most of our petrochemicals come from petroleum, from fossil fuels. That's because they're still quite a bit cheaper. But in the future, uh, it'll probably be that the price will probably be going down. But at the moment, it's too expensive to make. So we don't use too much of it because it's too expensive. But in the future, that might change. In the future, it might become cheaper. And also in the future, the petrochemicals from fossil fuels might be more expensive. So it might make more sense in the future to use cellulose-based petrochemicals um, or cellulose-based chemicals. So again, the disadvantages, the advantage was that it's renewable, so we can make more and more, whereas fossil fuels, your petrochemicals are non-renewable, they're non-renewable. And the other advantage was that it produced less pollution compared to fossil fuels. Fossil fuel burning produces lots of pollution, lots of global warming. Whereas when we burn or when we produce um, chemicals from biomass, we produce less pollution. Some of the disadvantages 
was that it takes up farming land, so we have to grow cellulose. And if we grow cellulose, we have less land to grow less land to grow food, and that's bad because we need to have that food to to feed the people of the world. And also, one of the disadvantages is that it costs more, higher production costs. And I wrote at the moment because that might change in the future. It's quite possible that it will be cheaper in the future, and that fossil fuel-based petrol petrochemicals are more expensive. So yeah, hope that made sense.